how to you know how to trouble suit the outbound idoc okay how to troubleshoot the outbound idoc okay so here our intention is to keep the things very simple okay so here you can see that this is our sap1 system hmm? this is sap1 system and this is our sap2 system okay this is sap1 system and this is sap2 system sap1 system is your sender system and sap2 system is your receiver system okay sap1 system is sending the data to sap2 system okay sap1 system is sending the data to sap2 system so communication is going from left to right so for sap1 system the idoc which will be generated by sap1 system is known as outbound idoc is known as outbound idoc all right for sap2 system the idoc which is received by the sap2 system that idoc is going to be known as inbound idoc right because it's coming to sap2 system so this idoc is known as inbound idoc now when the question comes over here very important question how to troubleshoot the outbound idoc and how to troubleshoot the inbound idoc very frequently asked and very important question so focus over here how to troubleshoot the outbound idoc what can be the different different problems which can occur with a outbound idoc right what are the different different problems which can occur with a outbound idoc right so the very first problem so so when the problem will come then only we are supposed to troubleshoot right if there is no problem why to troubleshoot so first we will see what type of problem can occur and based upon that we will see the troubleshooting steps okay making sense right it's a making sense good fine thank you so here you can see that here you can see that the very first problem can be okay the very first problem can be your outbound idoc is not generated right outbound idoc idoc itself not itself not created or generated right both is same thing created or generated idoc itself not created or generated so if your idoc is itself not created or generated how to troubleshoot this particular problem if it is not created or not generated how so first first we'll have to make sure that your idoc is not generated or not created right so how you will identify that your sender system has not created any idoc tell me where we will go and check if my outbound idoc has been generated or not created right so where we can go and check right you can just write here in the chat box where we can go and check if my outbound idoc has been created or not who will tell so the answer is we02 or we05 okay so suppose suppose so 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 one thing over here when your outbound idoc will be generated when your outbound program will be executed right right when your outbound idoc is going to get generate 
so one way is that when your outbound program it can be your report in that report you have written the logic to populate the data from some table and then you are going to put those data into the segment right and then those segment you are going to put you know you are going to uh relate with the message type and then you are going to give the destination information and all these things together you are passing into the function module which function module master idoc distribute function module so outbound idoc is going to be generated by master idoc distribute function module so remember this one it's going to help you a lot whenever any problem comes right in the outbound idoc right whenever any problem comes in the outbound idoc if it is not created or generated in the report program you have the report program right you have the report program where you have a uh, written call fm master idoc and distribute right you have written this this exporting importing and also many things will be there right so in report here you will have to come and you will have to put the breakpoint right here you will have to come and you will have to put the breakpoint where master idoc distribute function module right and you will have to run the report and you will have to check why this master idoc distribute function module is not generating the idoc it will be having some exception parameter or you know so so there you will get the idea you know how to debug the program right we put the breakpoint on the function module and check if all the parameter export parameter is properly populated or not this master idoc distribute is going to return some message that message you will have to analyze that why it is not creating so the first step that your idoc is created or not right so that you will go and check through we02 slash we05 so you will give the time frame in which the report you have run to generate the outbound idoc in we02 so in we02 you will be having the field where you can fill the date time so suppose uh, 10 minutes back i have run this program so i will give the time frame uh, currently it's 751 so i will give the 735 to 751 uh, and i will see uh, for that particular message type if the idoc has been generated or not right so whenever any idoc comes into picture message type all the idoc is related with a message type right so your idoc basic concept should be clear if your basic concept is not clear i would highly recommend i am having the video on the youtube first four or five videos if you are going to watch it you know or two or three videos also if you just watch it it will be having your basic concept clear then this questions and answer will make more sense otherwise you know you might get confused however i am trying to keep it very simple okay so in we02 or we05 you will have to give the message type over there and give the time frame in which you have run this report and check if that idoc has been generated or not so if idoc is not generated right it will not be shown in that time frame into we02 or we05 so you will have to check how to check you will have to come into that program and you will have to put the breakpoint and you will have to debug now we have just discussed this one a very simple scenario right custom scenario very simple scenario the question over here is what are the different ways of triggering the outbound idoc one is if we can create one custom program right and based upon our requirement we can pull the data from sap1 system from different table and we can put the data into a idoc with the help of master idoc distribute we can create the idoc and we can send over here right and this is very simple step generally this you are not going to 
see very much. You can see such kind of things, but not very much. Generally, the IDOC is for the purpose of syncing the data between one system to another system. Means if we have more than one system, the data is going to be synced with each other. For that purpose, the IDOC concept was invented. So the data should be there in sync because in distributed environment where you have multiple SAP system, right? In the distributed environment, distributed environment means where multiple SAP systems are connected together, right? So in multiple SAP system where they are connected together, many a times your data need to be put into sync so that transaction can work seamlessly, right? For example, here suppose SAP 1 system and SAP 2 system is there. Here you have created some purchase order and what you want, same purchase order should be replicable over here also, right? So as soon as in SAP 1 system, you are going to create the purchase order, the same purchase order should be replicated in SAP 2 system as well, right? So as soon as you will create over here, your outbound IDOC should be generated and should be going over here, right? Should go over here. So this outbound IDOC generation can be done using help of message control technique, okay? You know about the message control. Whenever you have to generate a PDF, whenever you have to generate the email, whenever you have to generate the fax, right? So any such kind of things, whenever you have to do, right? You are going to use the message control technique, right? You are going to use the message control technique. You must have seen in PO, right? A sales order and so many things. Similarly, with the help of message control technique, you know, you can trigger the outbound IDOC right? You can trigger the outbound IDOC. Where you will write the code for generating the outbound IDOC, right? You will use the same function module, master IDOC distribute only. But where you are going to write the code to generate the outbound IDOC, who will tell? So, so, the, so I will put the question in this way. Where you write the code in order to generate the PDF? Suppose you are going to, you know, create a PDF or a smart form for a purchase order, where we write the code. Hmm? We will tell where we write the code, where we do the configuration, hmm? where we do the configuration. Hmm. NES, yeah, NES, perfect. So we do the configuration in the NES and we write the code in subroutine pool, right? So subroutine pool, under the subroutine pool, we write the program and do the configuration in NACE transaction, right? In the NACE transaction, you will be having the message control related with the program, right? So in that program, you will have to write the master IDUC distribute function module you will have to use the master IDOC distribute function module and write the code in order to take all the information for purchase order and send the data through outbound IDOC to SAP2 system, right? So one way, what you understood with the simple program, another way you understood using the message control technique, right? What is third way? What is the third thing with the help of which the outbound IDOC can go from sender system to receiver system. Anyone? Anyone can tell what is the third way through which the IDOC can go from sender system to receiver system, right? Change pointer. The third one is the change pointer.